is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone. We'll get you back out to Falcon Stadium here in just a few minutes. Puck drop for that NHL Stadium Series now less than 20 minutes away. And it is cold out there tonight out of the Air Force Academy. Out of the airport in the Springs it's 38, but last check at the Academy it was down to 34 degrees. Heading south into Pueblo, 45 outside with light winds out of the southeast at about 8 miles per hour. As we look ahead, dry and cold tonight, but no sign of any snowfall here across the plains in the I-25 corridor. And in fact, we're going to see warmer temperatures temperatures tomorrow. There will be some snow in the mountains, but not expected to be east of the mountains until Monday night. That snow could continue all the way through midday Tuesday. So heading into tomorrow, especially during the day and into tomorrow night, we do have a few winter weather alerts I want to bring your attention to. Uh, this purple shading is a winter weather advisory. The pink here is a winter storm warning. So the northern mountain areas, including uh, those around Steamboat, could see as much as maybe a foot to a foot and a half of snow. And even some of the southern ranges and the higher valleys here, for example, if you're traveling between the springs on 24 up towards Vail or Breckenridge tomorrow, you're likely to encounter some snow. Low elevations around 5 to 8 inches, but the higher elevations, some of the peaks could see as much as 8 to 15 inches of snow. Looking at the satellite radar tonight, just a few clouds moving across the plains. Otherwise, mostly clear here at home, but out to the west, already seeing that snow developing across the western slope. And that's where we'll keep it for most of the day on Sunday. For us, we'll actually see the westerly wind coming down the mountains. That's going to warm up temperatures. I think overall it's going to be about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than today. It's going to be a fantastic end to the weekend. It's a holiday weekend, though, so things do change up as we head towards President's Day. So on Sunday, heading out early for church or breakfast plans, have the extra layers. going to be down to the low 20s in the morning hours. Noontime temps in the 50s in Pueblo, upper 40s in the springs. Highs tomorrow well into the 50s. And I think most of Monday, at least the start of President's Day, is pretty good. So not expecting much in the way of snow early in the day, but as we head into the afternoon, we start to see that energy move in, and especially late Monday night and into the overnight hours. That's when things look to get snowy, windy, and cold. And after the holiday weekend, we're heading back to work and school on Tuesday, and this could be a rather messy commute. It's already going to be a weather alert day here at News 5 Monday evening and again on Tuesday. So we're going to be tracking it closely for the potential for maybe some moderate to major impacts here locally in southern Colorado. Tonight, your overnight lows dropping down to the teens for Woodland Park to Westcliff, Alamosa down to 12, 21 for Pueblo, 22 in the Springs. Look at these highs tomorrow out east into the plains. It's possible that we return to the 60s, see some upper 40s in Monument, mid 40s Woodland Park, and for the springs, a high tomorrow at 53 degrees. Enjoy it. Trust me, get outside, take advantage of the nice weather because a big change comes in. Another case of weather whiplash Monday night into Tuesday, and it does stay cold through Wednesday as that system moves east with some wind on the backside. For Pueblo, upper 50s on Sunday, down to the upper 40s Monday with that high early in the day. Temperatures do cool throughout the afternoon hours as that system starts to get some energy and some snow into the picture. For Canyon City, mid 50s on Sunday, President's Day in the upper 40s, down to the 30s with a weather alert day on Tuesday and a high hovering right near the freezing mark. And for Woodland Park, temperatures here in the 40s on Sunday. It will be windy at times out across the Teller County high country and then the snow moves in Monday into Tuesday.